you may have your seats. Thank you very much. I'm standing in the midst of greatness around me to appreciate the priestly bishops, apostles in whatever office. I'm very grateful that this day has come true. I want to appreciate my president. The first lady, my baby, the deputy president, and Pastor Dorcas. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Bishop Mark. It has been a journey. My journey with the first family started quite a number of years ago, about uh, 2012 is when the first time God gave me a word through being provoked by one of the prophets that we know very well that um, this nation would have the government of our choice and especially the church. Today, we stand. We are so very grateful that as a church, we have come together and we have voiced and our voice has been heard. And today we celebrate our David. We celebrate our David. This is indeed our David. And as I was coming, I was just reminded something about uh, King David. Remember that King David didn't have much to do. He was actually a nobody. Came from a known family, you know. Remember the story of, of uh, Jesse, uh, King Samuel, the prophet, going to anoint the king, and he's almost hiding. And remember that David was not even among the brothers who were preferred. He didn't have much to, uh, much to offer. In actual fact, the Bible says that when prophet uh, Samuel asked, because the count one, two, three, the, the, the prophet is like, somebody's missing here. Uh, and, and, and the king is, uh, and the prophet answer, is there another child here? And they said, well, we know we have one, but I don't think it could be that one because he's a shipkeeper. That one is those ones who appear by mistake when the womb is shut. So it couldn't be that one. And someone stood with a horn of oil and decreed, I will not see it. I will not do anything until that very one comes in. And now David appears to the disappointment even of the prophet. He didn't smell like a king. He didn't look like a king. You don't have to look it to become. So David appears and the voice of God confirms and say he is the one. Anoint him now. And the oil was poured upon David and he became the successor of King Saul. Today, we have our David right here in our midst. We thank God he didn't come smelling like a king. He didn't look like one. Why do I say this? Excellency, my president, allow me to say, when God handpicked you to be the leader of this nation in a time such as this, I want us to understand God qualifies the disqualified. And uh, come on, somebody. He qualifies the nobodies. So we are so very grateful for you, David. And I remember when the church, the, 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 the kingdom, they were, they were being intimidated as we have been intimidated as a church. Yes, we were being intimidated. Some of us could not even put yellow flowers on the stage. We were intimidated. But you know the thing is, the praying church knew what to do. And what, that's exactly what we did. We cashed, we prayed, we jumped, we sang, you know. And God has finally answered our prayers. We give all the praise and honor to God. But when Israel, they were going for a battle, and in the battle arena, there was uh, the demonstrations of the might. So Israel was told to pick up somebody who would fight for them. And imagine, David said, imagine, I will go. <laughs> and people think, are you out of your mind? You're just a kid. What do you say you can go? He said, I will go. 
So the king was told there's a little boy who is behaving funny, but he says he's going to fight for Israel. <laughs> All right. So, so now the, the little boy is called and said, you know, I, I, I gave a testimony. I killed a bear. I killed a lion. Guess what? I'm the man. I will do this job for you. I will wipe that uh, giant. This giant will be a history. And uh, so he's offered the, the king's boots and the sword. You know, he couldn't even fit because the shoe was oversized. The sword, he couldn't even lift it. He said, let me go as I am. This is where I'm coming with this. As he was going down the valley in the battle arena, he stopped by and picked five stones. The Bible says five stones. And those are the stones that my president today has picked. Before David met Goliath, he picked, the Bible says he had five stones. The Bible doesn't name them. But today, around me to say, our president, uh, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, picked one stone called the Hasa. Hasa movement. <laughs> he picked it among the other stones that I'll speak about the other four another day. But the first stone he picked is a stone called Hasra Movement. Oh, come on, give it up for our, our president. So when he went to meet this man who was so qualified with the, about the battle, he was a military man. He had the sword, he had everything. And he said, I come to you in the name of the Lord God. And all he need, he picked among the five stones. He only picked one stone. I believe, Excellency, the only thing you did, you pick one stone in the battle arena, and that stone was the Hasra. And through that stone, the battle has been won. So we are so very grateful. We pray for you. We pray for your family. We love you. You are not ashamed of the house of God. As Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. For I know this is the power of God unto salvation. We thank you so very much. I know that uh, there are many, many hours that I have uh, spent time with our first lady. We have had private pleasures. We have prayers. We've done everything. We know how to do. But finally, we thank God this far. And today we stand the nation of Kenya and say, Ebenezer, for this far has the Lord brought us. We thank God that the battle is won. And we thank God for the prophetic gracing. And thank you very much, First Family, for allowing me to speak even into your lives. We're ever grateful. Thank you so much, men and women of God. Let's keep up the battle. You know what this is? Prophetically, the winning of our president means... Revival has hit the nation. Revival has come. Revival has hit the nation. We are going for our children. We are going to pick them up. We shall raise our nation. We shall decree the word of the Lord. We shall lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. We shall preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus.